Today I'm going to teach you how to do backside layback. This was the most requested trick on my last voting post. If you want to say on what's up next, make sure to comment on my next post. So the backside layback. This is a really sick old school trick. Really fun, a little bit harder than it looks. But once you get it with that backside slide, it feels f***ing awesome. There's no real easy lead up to this trick, apart from knowing how to do a backside grind and a 50-50, that's very helpful. The best thing is to do it on transition that you're very comfortable with. Do it on a little quarter pipe or a little ramp that you're very comfortable with. And for me, that's my backyard mini ramp. So first things first, warm up with some backside grinds. One thing to note when you're doing these backside grinds is to try and look at your back foot while you're going through that backside grind. That's a helpful tip for this trick as when you're doing this trick, you kind of want to have your head down a little bit. So try looking at your toes as you're doing the backside grind, just through the, through the top of the turn. Once you've done a bunch of backside grinds, you're feeling pretty warm, let's practice getting into the drop-in position. Put your board on the coping, toe side trucks locked against the coping. Stand on the board in 50-50 position, grab the nose, just heel side or on the front of the nose, put your back hand on the coping just behind your back foot. Pressurize your back toes and then pull the nose around to the tail lock position. Once you lock the tail, drop in. You really wanna feel the pressure on both hands to keep the board in position as you're pulling it around, pushing with your toes and locking up that tail. Once you're pretty comfortable standing in 50-50, sliding around the tail, practice it, but going into 50-50 position first. Drop in, lock up into 50-50, hand on the nose, hand on the coping, pressure on your toes as you pull around to tail, and drop in. As you get more comfortable, try pushing and grinding the back truck a little bit as you pull around to tail. This feeling of pulling with your front hand, pushing with your toes into the slide is the exact same feeling at the end of the backside layback move. Once you feel like you've got the slide going and you're pretty comfortable actually going from 50-50 into that backside layback slide position, let's start with the setup. The goal here is to get into a 5-0 lock with your hand on the nose and your back hand on the coping. Come at the coping like you're going into a grind. Grab the nose as you clack the back truck on coping, put your hand down on the coping behind your back foot and then pull it around into tail. You wanna come at the coping like you're going into a backside grind. This is actually really important and helps you visualize, especially as you learn the trick more. If you kind of get stuck and keep on going over the top of the ramp or getting locked up and your foot comes off, really think about going into a big backside grind as you're coming up and that'll help you get into that position a little bit easier. It's just a matter of practice from there. Just practice heaps and gradually try and make it smoother, make it faster, make it slide more and just try and push it further and further and further as you get more comfortable with the trick. You can actually take this trick to banks and ditches. Um, it's not exactly the same. You can kind of grab a little bit here and do a cool little slashy move. Same feeling and same kind of motions. Backside layback is one of the funnest tricks. Learn it, take it everywhere, and have fun.